The cell cycle is an orderly set of stages that take place between the time a eukaryotic cell divides and the time the resulting daughter cells also divide. Most of the cell cycle is spent in interphase. This is the time when a cell performs its usual functions, depending on its location in the body. The amount of time the cell takes for interphase varies widely. Some cells, such as nerve and muscle cells, typically do not complete the cell cycle and are permanently arrested. These cells are said to have entered the gene not stage. Embryonic cells complete the entire cell cycle in just a few hours. For adult mammalian cells, interphase lasts for about 20 hours, which is 90% of the cell cycle. Cell biologists name, this, name the G1 stage before DNA replication, and they name the stage after DNA replication G2. Protein synthesis is very much a part of these growth stages. During G1, the cell recovers from the previous division. Then, the cell increases in size, doubles its organelles, such as mitochondria and ribosomes, and accumulates material that will be used for DNA synthesis. Following G1, the cell enters the S stage, when DNA synthesis or replication occurs. At the beginning of the S stage, each chromosome is composed of one DNA double helix. Following DNA replication, each chromosome is composed of two identical DNA double helix molecules. Each double helix is called a chromatid. Another way of expressing these events is to say that DNA replication has resulted in duplicated chromosomes. Following the S2, the S stage, the G2 stage, <coughs> from the completion of DNA replication to the onset of mitosis. During this stage, the cell synthesizes proteins that will assist cell division. For example, it makes the proteins that form microtubules. Following interphase, the cell enters the M, for mitotic stage. The cell division stage includes mitosis, nuclear division, and cytokinesis, division of the cytoplasm. During mitosis, daughter chromosomes are distributed to two daughter nuclei. When division of the cytoplasm is complete, two daughter cells are present. The cell cycle is controlled by an internal and external signals. A signal is a molecule that stimulates or inhibits a metabolic event. These signals ensure that the stages follow one another in the normal sequence, that in that each stage is properly completed before the next stage begins. Growth factors are external signals received at the plasma membrane. Even cells that are arrested in G0 will finish the cell cycle if simulated to do so by growth factors. For example, when blood platelets release a growth factor, skin fibroblasts in the vicinity of the, are simulated to finish the cell cycle, thereby repairing an injury. Researchers have identified a family of internal signaling proteins called cyclins that increase and decrease as the cell cycle continues. Cyclin has to be present for the cell to proceed from G2 stage to M stage, and for the cell to, uh, to proceed from G1 stage to S stage stage. The cell cycle stops at the G2 checkpoint if DNA is not finished replicating. This prevents the initiation of the M stage before the completion of the S stage. Also, if DNA is damaged, such as from exposure to solar radiation or x-rays, stopping the cell cycle at this checkpoint allows time for damages to be repaired so that it is not passed on to daughter cells. Another cell cycle checkpoint occurs during the mitotic stage. The cell stops if the chromosomes are not going to be distributed accurately to the daughter cells. DNA damage can also stop the cell cycle at the G1 checkpoint. In mammalian cells, the signaling protein P53 stops the cycle at the G1 checkpoint when DNA is damaged. First, P53 attempts to, attempts to initiate DNA repair, but if that is not possible, it brings about apoptosis, or programmed cell death. Now we move on to the mitotic stage. The centrosome, the main microtubule organizing center of the cell, divides before mitosis begins. Each, chromosome, each centrosome in an animal cell, but not, all, not a plant cell, contains a pair of barrel-shaped organelles called centrioles. The, centrosome, the centrosomes organize the mitotic spindle, which contains many fibers, each composed of a bundle of microtubules. Microtubules are hollow cylinders made up of protein tubulin. They assemble when tubulin subunits join, and when they disassemble, tubulin subunits become free once more. The microtubules of the cytoskeleton uh, disassemble when spindle, fi spindle fibers begin forming. Most likely, this provides tubulin for the formation of the spindle fibers. Mitosis is a continuous process that is arbitrarily divided into five phases for the convenience of description. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Prophase. It is apparent during prophase that nuclear division is about to occur because chromatin is condensed and the chromosomes are visible. Recall that DNA replication occurred during interphase, and therefore, the parental chromosomes are already duplicated and composed of two sister chromatids held together at a centromere. Counting the number of centromeres in the diagrammatic drawings gives the number of chromosomes for the cell de depicted. During prophase, the nucleolus disappears and the nuclear envelope fragments.
The spindle begins to assemble as the two centrosomes migrate away from one another. In animal cells, an array of microtubules radiates towards the plasma membrane from the centrosomes. These structures are called asters. It is thought that the asters serve to brace the centrioles during later stages of cell division. Notice that the chromosomes have not yet no particular orientation because the spindle is not formed as yet. Prometaphase. During prometaphase, preparations for sister chromatid separation are evident. Cnida cores appear on each side of the centromere, and these attach sister chromatids to the so-called cnida core spindle fibers. These fibers extend from the poles to the chromosomes, which will soon be located at the center of the spindle. The cnida core fibers attach to the sister chromatids to opposite poles of the spindle, and the chromosomes are pulled first toward one pole and then toward the other before the chromosomes can come into alignment. Notice that even though the chromosomes are attached to the spindle fibers in prometaphase, they are still not in alignment. Metaphase. During metaphase, the centromeres of chromosomes are now in alignment at the center of the cell. When viewed with a light microscope, the chromosomes appear to be in a circle that encompasses the circumference of the cell. An imaginary plane that is perpendicular and passes through the cell circle is called the metaphase plate. It indicates the future axis of cell division. Many non-attached spindle fibers, to, um, called polar spindle fibers, are apparent in metaphase. Some of these fibers reach beyond the metaphase plate and overlap. Anaphase. At the start of anaphase, the two sister chromatids of each duplicated chromosome separate at the centromere, giving rise to two daughter chromosomes. Daughter chromosomes, each with a centromere and single chromatid composed of a single double helix, appear to move toward opposite poles. Actually, the daughter chromosomes are being pulled to the opposite poles as the kinetochore spindle fibers disassemble in the region of the kinetochores. Even as the daughter chromosomes move toward the spindle poles, the poles themselves are moving farther apart because the polar spindle fibers are sliding past one another. Microtubule-associated proteins, such as the motor molecules kenosin and dynosin, dynein, are involved in the sliding process. Anaphase is the shortest phase of mitosis. Telophase. During telophase, the spindle appears, it disappears as new nuclear envelopes from around the daughter chromosome. Each daughter nucleus contains the same number and kinds of chromosomes as the original parent cell. Remnants of the polar spindle fibers are still visible between the two nuclei. Division of the cytoplasm, known as cytokinesis, begins in anaphase, continues in telophase, but does not reach completion until the following interphase begins. By the end of mitosis, each newly formed cell has received a share of the cytoplasmic organelles that duplicated during interphase. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow, which is an indentation of the membrane between the two daughter nuclei, begins as anaphase draws to a close. By that time, the newly forming cells have received a share of the cytoplasmic organelles that duplicated during the previous interphase. The cleavage furrow deepens when a band of actin filaments, called a contractile ring, slowly forms a circular constriction between the two daughter cells. The action in the con of the contractile ring can be li likened to pulling a drawstring ever tighter about the middle of a balloon. As the drawstring is pulled tight, the balloon constricts in the middle as the material on either side of the constriction gathers and folds. A narrow bridge between the two cells can be seen during telophase, and then the contractile ring continues to separate the cytoplasm until there are two independent daughter cells. Cytokinesis in plant cells occurs by a process different from that seen in animal cells. The rigid cell wall that surrounds plant cells does not permit cytokinesis by furrowing. Instead, cytokinesis in plant cells involves the building of new cell walls between the daughter cells. Cytokinesis is apparent when small, flattened disc appears between the two daughter, cell daughter plant cells. In electron micrographs, it is possible to see that the disc is at a right angle to said microtubules. The Golgi apparatus produces vesicles, which move along the microtubules to the region of the disc. As more vesicles arrive and fuse, a cell plate can be seen. The cell plate is simply newly formed plasma membrane that expands outward until it reaches the old plasma membrane and fuses with this membrane. The new membrane releases molecules that form the new plant cell walls. These cell walls, known as primary cell walls, are later strengthened by the addition of cellulose fibrils. The space between the daughter cells becomes filled with a middle lamella, which cements the primary cell walls together.